An application may encounter an error during the execution. When an error occurs, either CLR or program code throws an exception which contains necessary information about the error. System exception class is a base class for all the exceptions that can occur during the execution of the program. But how can we handle exceptions? C Sharp provides a built-in support to handle the exception using try, catch and finally block. Let us go to our Visual Studio and see how we can use this block in C Sharp. To use the try, catch, finally block, you write in here try and then double tab. So here we see that we have the try block, we have the catch block and we can also add the finally block. So let us write in here finally and then curly brackets. The try block is the block that gets executed and the catch block is executed in case an exception is thrown. So let me write a code in here which throws an exception. For example, I will write in here int x is equal to 12 and then I want to divide this number by 0, which normally throws an exception because you cannot divide numbers by 0. So let me write in here console dot write line and then I write in here 12 divided by 0 is equal to x divided by 0. The exception thrown within the try block can be handled using the catch block. And code in the catch block, we said, will only execute when an exception occurs. Like in this case, when we want to divide the number by 0. And the last block that we have in here is the finally block. And the finally block, no matter what happened in the try and catch block, the code that is within the finally block will always be executed. So let us just write in here console.write line and then in here finally block message. Let us just save the changes and press Ctrl F5 to see the result. And in here we see that we get an exception and the exception type is divided by zero exception. And then finally we get the finally block message. And in C Sharp we have different types of exceptions and divide by zero exception is just one of them. And if you want to build specific blocks for each exception you can do that in C Sharp. So let us go back to our code and in here let us create a special catch block only for divided by zero exception. For that write in here catch and then write in here divide by zero exception name this exception the x and then inside curly brackets write console.write line ex.message let us change the console.write line in here to this is the exception block so we see that in this case when we divide two numbers and we have a divide by zero exception this is the block that is going to catch this exception so I'll press Ctrl F5 and here we have the attempted to divide by zero message which is part of the divide by zero exception and then at the end of course we are going to see the finally block message the finally block is really useful when you have a piece of code which you want to always execute it so for example if you work with databases you want to always close the connection string the finally block would be a great use for that case. In C Sharp you can also manually throw an exception by using the throw keyword. And any type of exception which is derived from the exception class can be raised using the throw keyword. So for example let us write in here int positive number is equal to minus 10. So normally you would get this result from the user input but I'll just assume that the value is minus 10. And then I will check if this number is positive or not. So if positive number is less than or equal to zero, then in this case I want to throw an exception. For that to throw an exception, we said that we use the throw keyword, then new, 
and then you can choose one of the exception classes from here. So I will choose the argument exception because I normally expect the number to be positive number, but I have a negative number. And I want to display to the screen the message, the number is not positive. Let us press the Ctrl F5 to see the result. So in here we see that we have an argument exception type and the message of this exception is the number is not positive. In C Sharp, we can also create our own custom exceptions. And we can do that by using the exception base class. So let us start creating our own custom exception. I will first remove all the code from the main method and then create a student class which we are going to use for our custom exception. So for that I will write in here public class and then student. For the student class I will provide the student ID, so of type integer, student ID and another property of type integer for the student age. So I'll just write in here the age. So now I want to create a custom exception which is going to be thrown when the users do not provide a valid age. So for example when they provide a negative number. For that I'll just write in here public class and the name is going to be invalid student age exception which inherits from the exception base class because we said that we need to use the exception base class to create custom exceptions. Now let us create another constructor which takes as a parameter the student age. So for that we write in here ctr, then as a parameter we provide the int age. We need to inherit from the base class which is the exception and inside the base we define the string message. So I'll just write in here dollar sign. The age age is not a valid one. Or let us change the message, the number, the age is not a valid age. I'll save the changes and then go inside the main method, create a student object in here. So student is equal to new student. And then inside a try catch block, we define the age for this student. So let us write here, try catch the student dot age is equal to minus 10. Then next we validate the student age. So we create a method validate student age and then inside here we pass as a parameter the student dot age property. Now this method is missing so let us create this method and inside here all we need to do is that we need to check if the age is greater than 18 for example and if not we need to throw the exception that we just create. So let us write in here, if age is less than 18, then throw a new invalid student age exception and as a parameter we pass the age. Let us save the changes, go in the catch block and replace the exception class with the invalid student age exception, so invalid student age exception and display to the screen the e dot message. Remove the throw, save all the changes and then control F5 to see the result. So in here we see that the number minus 10 is not a valid age. So we see that we can create custom exception classes to differentiate from the system exceptions.